If you guys are looking for new rumors on the latest iPhone 11, you guys have come to the right place. Today we are talking about the new camera sensors on the back, the Apple Pencil support, as well as a new A13 Bionic chip. Some of the older rumored leaks that we are also going to be highlighting include the iPhone 11 color features, the potential for a USB-C port, whether or not there is going to be an actual notch, and the life size of the battery. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the camera. Now on the back of it, it is rumored to have a three camera setup on the X11 as well as the X11 Plus and that is going to be dual 14 megapixels the standard telephoto zoom as well as another 10 megapixel not really too sure what that one's going to be yet but it is going to have three cameras which is going to be pretty cool now the layout of the cameras is weird previously we knew that Apple was evaluating multiple options mm -hmm. one of these includes the Cyclops look yeah. of having a symmetrically on the back Another one included that brick formation that yeah. nobody really liked on the, the left side of the back. And there were a few other options that Apple was looking at. But apparently, according to some sources, they have landed on a solution. And that is to go with the Cyclops look. I'm not too sure about that. Personally, I like the iPhone X layout. If they were to just add a third camera underneath that, I feel like that would be perfect. But we don't really know until it is unveiled. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the new chipset. Yes. The A13. Now, one thing that a lot of people aren't aware of at the moment is that the A12 Bionic chip is already outperforming the new Snapdragon A55. Which is to be unveiled this year. Yeah, it's the newest chipset that all Android phones are supposed to be using. Now, the A12 does have a 6-core CPU, 4-core GPU, as well as a new neural engine that helps with augmented reality, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's surprising that Apple's chipset from last year is already better than the new ones from this year. Apple is known to have a very strong and powerful chipset. And to say that they are going to be upgrading again, mm -hmm. which is gonna further set them apart from a processing standpoint to the others like Qualcomm and Samsung's. Yeah, it's very true. Now, another camera feature I wanna talk about is the selfie camera. They are going to be bumping up the resolution to 10 megapixels from the seven megapixels that we've already seen on all recent Apple iPhones. Another rumor is the support of the stylus. A lot of people like the Apple Pencil. If you are using an iPad Pro, the new Apple Pencil is incredible. It's very precise, very accurate. And a lot of people kind of want that for the larger iPhones. Some of the other features that we talked about in a previous video, which we'll pin down in the comments down below, is the color of the Ooh, iPhone. This yes. includes silver, gold, Ooh. space gray, and blue. Blue? What it's kind of, kind of blue like a talking? baby. It's kind of like a baby blue. Really? Yeah. So it's gonna be bold. Yes. It's not not like this color. More of like a, a sky kind of baby blue. I would say. That's a bit strange. I, I've always seen Apple is doing like subtle colors on their professional or high end phones, unlike the XR, which are pretty bold. Mm -hmm. So that'll be an interesting change. Another feature that to the dismay of a lot of iPhone users, Ooh. is that Apple will likely be retaining the notch. Yeah. They don't have technology available yet so that they can remove the notch. They are gonna be bringing back Touch ID, hopefully. Supposedly there's going to be an in-display fingerprint reader that is a photograph version? It's not like Samsung's ultrasonic one. It's gonna be using either true depth or a photo of your thumb. It is also rumored that the screen size will be 5.8 inches, which is similar to the size of the iPhone X. However, it is also rumored that they're gonna have smaller bezels, smaller than what's already there on the, the iPhone X. Mm -hmm. So this will just increase the surface area of the screen. Yeah, the screen to body ratio is very important. Now, for the actual Plus version, it's supposed to be getting a little bit of a bump in terms of screen size. They are gonna be fitting a larger screen into the exact same form factor, instead of just minimizing the bezels on the plus, which will be nice. We are also expecting an increase in battery output. We are hoping, hoping for 4,000 milliamp hours to compete against the Note 9 and other flagship models that have been released in 2019, like the Samsung S10 lineup and Huawei's new phone as well. Now, it is unclear if Apple will be supporting 5G in their latest smartphones. They are waiting for Intel's newest chip set to be out where it does feature 5G support is unclear if they're gonna be using that chip or if they're just making their own. A lot of people are expecting and hoping that a lot of the new flagship phones will be 5G compatible, but one thing that they don't realize is 5G actually isn't out yet. Like there isn't no. infrastructure available yet. So if their phones are compatible for 5G, it's kind of like a gimmick. They'll just increase the price because 5G phones will be a lot more expensive for no reason that you can't actually utilize that service. Yeah. No, it's very true. Those were our rumors of the iPhone 11. If you guys have any new rumors you want us to check out, 
let us know in the comments below. And subscribe if you're new.